try and pick an upper loin piece with nice color on it and we cut it into like half inch or one inch cubes like depending on what you like. I like a little bit smaller pieces. You want some fresh green onion, ponzu, sriracha, mayonnaise, seaweed salad, masago. That's masago actually. Yeah, you just start adding in all the ingredients, mayonnaise, seaweed salad, sriracha, ponzu, sesame seeds. I add a little cayenne chili flake for a little spice. And yeah, you just mix it up nice and easily so you don't tear the meat apart and uh, all the sauces penetrate and give it a nice even marinade. You could add really whatever you want to. Pokey's a pretty custom dish and uh, everyone has their own twist to it and that's what's so fun about it. Next, we just sliced up some bluefin belly and plated it pretty simply. I put some avocado and sriracha on top of this at the end. And really the toro is so rich, it just speaks for itself usually with these fish, but it's nice to have a little bit of, a little bit of fatty avocado on top too. This is this more sashimi sriracha on top of seaweed seasoning and uh, I think I'd put ponzu and organic soy sauce underneath that because I don't really like using dipping dishes and may as well everyone uses soy sauce anyways. This is just the whole spread and this is really just like if you want to make bang for your buck like this is like a third, not even a third of a fish. This wasn't a big one either, this was like a 50 pounder if that and look how much food you can make out of this if you don't want to eat the sashimi just on its own you're always welcome just to make a poke bowl with it all in there i kind of like just having a little bit of everything and uh yeah it's just fun if you have people over you can create your own bowl